Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at Homelinks 2.4, that's Unit 2, Lesson 4, Finding Multiples. So let's get started. Now if you recall, when we are thinking about multiples, what you're really doing is you are skip counting. So I'm just going to write that in parentheses right here, skip counting. Let me show you what I mean when I say skip counting. When I'm counting by ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm basically taking the number 1, adding 1 to it, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then following up by adding another 1 to the last number I just counted, 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and so on. Okay. So when I'm skip counting by another number other than 1, I'm skipping certain numbers in between uh, because I'm only adding uh, multiples of that number. So here where it says, this is the first five multiples of four, okay? The first number I'm going to start with is four, and then the next number is going to be four plus four, okay? Four plus four gives me eight. Now, eight plus four would give me my third multiple, which is going to be 12. And then 12 plus 4 is going to give me my fourth multiple. 12 plus 4, of course, is 16. 16 plus 4 is going to give me my fifth multiple, which is 20. Okay? So the idea here is that with each number I add to this list, I'm just adding 4 to it, okay? That's what a multiple is. I'm skip counting by that number, okay? Let's take a look at problem number 3A. It says, list the first 10 multiples of 3. So I'm skip counting here. Now, if you don't know all of your multiples of 3, if you consult the inside for, uh, back cover of your math journal, there is a multiplication division times table that gives you uh, all the multiples of 3 through 10. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Some of you are amazed at my skip counting ability. Mr. Wasman, how did you learn how to skip count by threes? Well, I didn't know how to do it at first, but I had to learn it over time. Okay, so when I was your age, I didn't know how to skip count by threes, but over time and with a lot of exposure to the idea, I picked it up. Okay, all skills are learnable. All skills are acquirable. Okay, so now it says list the first ten multiples of five. Now that's an easier one. Okay, I'm going to skip count by fives here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. All right, boom. So now I've got the first 10 multiples of 3 and the first 10 multiples of 5. Now it says list all the multiples that are of three that are also multiples of five. So what I'm doing here is I'm comparing these two lists, okay? So I'm looking for numbers that are the same. Well, one here, I've got 15 pops up in both three and five. So does 30, okay? And that's as far as I get. So there's two sets of numbers in each uh, list of multiples that are shared, okay? Well, no surprise here. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. So if I take the multiple of 3 and the multiple of 5 and I multiply them together, I'm going to get the product of 15. 30 is just 15 twice, okay? Um, if I were to add another 15 to that, I would get 45, Okay? But for our purposes here, the multiples of 3 that are also multiples of 5 are 15 and 30 in this list. 15 and 30. Okay. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to look at the numbers down at the bottom, the practice problems. These are some 
uh, number uh, rule uh, problems, okay? So I start with the number 24, and then I have a blank, and then I have a number 48, and then I have a blank, and then I have 72. So again, this is basically a, uh, a skip counting problem. I'm going up in amounts. So 24 to 48, that's an increase. Now how much is that? Well, 48 take away 24 is, well, what do you know, 24. So the, the number that lives in this spot here is half of 24. Uh, so 24 plus something it gets me a number that is halfway between 24 and 48. Well, 24 divided in half is 12. Okay, so if I were to add 12 to 24, I would get 36. So this number right here is 36. Okay, now I can prove that to be true because 24 plus 12 is 36. 36 plus another 12 gives me 48. Now if I add a third 12 to this list here, I'm going to get 60. Okay? 60 right here. And then if I add 60 plus 12, well, what do you know? It gives me 72. So I think my rule works. Okay? So the rule here is to add 12. And then the last number, 72 plus 12, is going to give me 84. Okay? Give these problems a try, especially the practice ones down at the bottom. Uh, this uh, factors of 15 table at number 6, it looks a lot like the same problem you did in your math journal earlier today. Um, if you have questions, ask your uh, math teacher. Otherwise, we'll talk again soon. Thanks, friends.